Welcome back to Private Lesson Matters. My name is Mitch Ionescu, and today we are going to talk about the Gavad by Jean Becker. It's in the key of G minor, so we have two flats. You notice in the book three of Suzuki that there are low two, uh, two flats uh, in number two, in number three, and now here in number five. Uh, it's a big deal uh, in the book because we're learning to play with a low four on the A and E and a low one on the uh, a and E and D string. So this is a big step. This is a big step in our journey on the violin as we're learning to get better and better and learn better pieces. So um, what I want to talk to you about today is part two. And I'm going to be quick and give you a couple of tips on the big hook bow slur. So at the very beginning of these big fortissimo notes, which I play double stops. This this uh, this slur hook bow. Now, for some students, this this can be tricky, right? And you can be sloppy with it. You can you can kind of do it, but not really, and miss miss the beauty of it. So, what I what I tell my students to do, what I encourage you to do first, number one, no slur, no hook bow. Just play everything separate. So, let's do it together. If you want to join me. Here we go, we're starting with the low two on measure 11. So here we go. So those are the notes and we're, we're gonna use that big bowing. Now, I'm gonna do it again, maybe a couple times. So let's do it together twice, a couple of more times. fingerings, I got some of my rhythm locked in, and now I'm ready for the next step. Next step that I, that, that I recommend is to do hook bow for all the notes. So let's try it this way. It takes the whole bow, right? You have to be slow with the bow and make sure to give each note a little bit of the bow. And that's why we're practicing it hook bow because you know, if you're, if, if you're not careful, you can use too much bow on the first two notes, and then you have barely anything left, and then you're stuck. So practice hook bow. Small bow, save the bow. So you, you have plenty of bow to, 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 to use and to enjoy. And so now, you practice it separate, you practice the hook bows. Now I'm ready to add, to make the slur short. So I'm gonna practice just doing this. Just the first three notes to stop after the after the low four. So I make sure I'm not using the I'm not using too much bow. I'm using just the upper half. So now I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna keep going. And there it is. I got my entire bow for all the all those notes. It's six notes, right? This is this is this is a pretty uh, big amount of notes that that we're playing in this in this piece. So. And it comes back later, but not not with sixteenth notes, and not with the slur at the end of the line. In measure thirteen, you have you have these the, this other six hook bow run. And so again, same same process. Play everything separate. Play everything hook bow, and in this case, it's all hook bow anyway. But just teaching yourself to use a little bit of bow what some people call saving the bow, so you have enough for each note. You're, you're distributing the bow equally for each note. And so that's, that's part two, and that is one of the big challenges there. So I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please share it, and feel free to ask me any questions in the comment box, and subscribe.